Jane Austen said, if a book is well written, I always find it's too short. Everything in the world exists in order to end up as a book. Reading gives us somewhere to go when we have to stay where we are. When asked once for a motto for what we do and who we are, I came up with read, breathe, live. My name is Brian Kernahan. Uh, this is my bookshop. Uh, my wife, Alwyn, and I have uh, had a shop here in the Blue Coat now for three years. And before that, we were 28 years in Wayfarers Arcade in Southport. As a provincial bookshop, we like to carry a, a wide range of subjects. Um, and we're always looking out for those things which we think customers are looking out for. Um, nowadays, there's so much choice available uh, that we have to work out what's a little bit different uh, that people still enjoy, love and want. We see ourselves as being part of a spectrum of uh, bookshops around the country, uh, across the world. Um, we pitch ourselves fairly deliberately um, in the middle market. Traditionally, we've carried a lot of uh, travel books, uh, local history, uh, quite a bit of art, obviously a wide range of literature. More recently, we've been um, very fortunate to have a number of collections coming in on subjects with which we're not so familiar, so that's quite a challenge. So the counties of, of England, uh, together with Wales, Ireland and Scotland, all there. Uh, and what is unusual, this is the complete atlas. Every county is there. Uh, because very often they got broken up. Somebody wanted to frame one and put it on the walls. I think for us, we see that there is just so much choice over so many decades and centuries now um, that we can't represent everything that's out there. And there is for the secondhand antiquarian bookseller, there is a need to be even more selective. Uh, it's almost like curating an exhibition, uh, but it's a selling exhibition. I was born in Belfast uh, quite a while ago now, back in the early 50s. Um, grew up there, loved the city, still do, but haven't lived there for a very long time. Uh, Belfast surrounded by hills and lived up in the hills and had great views the whole time. From Belfast, I uh, went to Birmingham to study, uh, met my wife Alwyn there. And uh, since then we've done a variety of things, but most of that time now has been as uh, booksellers together. My love of books um, goes back a long way. Um, as a boy, um, I grew up in a home that didn't have many books in it, but my, my dad did take me down to the Central Library in Belfast. Uh, and uh, he left me free to choose my own books, uh, which were never the classics. It was always something a little bit different. Um, and I think that uh, pattern has continued. There's still a lot of the key English classics that I haven't read. Uh, I might get around to it one day. Uh, but there's always so much uh, new stuff out there and something different to find. Is it digital or not? The speaking picture book on the outside is very plain and very simple. And yet when you open it, it's like an explosion. You can see the liver birds in each of the panels there. So Troughton's History of Liverpool. If you're ever looking for a good pop-up book, look out for Robert Sabuda. The very first of the Gore directories. The poem Mount Pleasant by William Roscoe in the 1770s. And this is the very first issue of it. The record of who lived where, who the business people were, these rather uh, intricate things here. We get the cow performing. Either the very first or one of the very first programs for that musical. The Stranger's Guide was uh, for anybody visiting the, the city, maybe to do business, an animal from the zoo in three dimensions. 1684, uh, The Lives of Illustrious Men by Nippos from the snows to the seas. Uh, I like optical, optical illusional things as well. Handmade paper, watercolor quality printings. Uh, quite simple, uh, but great fun.
You know, it's always a very difficult thing to ask uh, a bookseller what their favourite uh, writer or book is. Uh, certainly for this, uh, this bookseller, that is the case. Um, uh, because I've so many interests and, uh, and, and there's so much great stuff out there. And if you ask me on one day, I might say Jonathan Swift, Gulliver's Travels. Uh, on, a, on another day, something completely different, a, a modern, maybe a travel writer. Records of, of big families um, are easier in some ways to come by than records of everyday people. Uh, and so uh, the, the history of the Darbys or the Stanley family, Knowlesley Hall, uh, this is uh, the first edition of this published in Liverpool. Um, and uh, because of their involvement in the Isle of Man has a separate section at the back there. So, yeah, one of the great joys with uh, the physical book uh, is that it is designed essentially to fit in your hand. Um, and we, we refer to things being handbooks or pocket books. Uh, so they relate to us physically. But there's a, a sort of little uh, quality there which has a sweetness uh, and yet a sort of uh, um, almost savory sort of, uh, you know, is it mushrooms? Uh, uh, you know, almost sound like a wine uh, specialist when you start doing this. One of the joys with, particularly with older ones or traditional ones, is that the binding materials are made from natural skin. Uh, that's vellum uh, that I've got here in my hand. It's old vellum, which uh, uh, wears hard and long, but tr traditional leather, uh, as we might see uh, like that, loves being handled because it takes the oil from your hand and that feeds it you can flick through in a way that you actually can't do with an e-book at all, can you? Uh, and, and so there's something very natural about the whole format of it. Um, and people do love this whole sensory thing. And even as I do that, one type of paper will flick and make a sound quite different from the sound of another type of paper. We're really enjoying being in Liverpool uh, and adding to the uh, existing presence of bookshops in the city. Uh, many cities have no second-hand bookshops in the city centre these days, um, whilst there's uh, three uh, dedicated second-hand bookshops in Liverpool, and that in itself is an attraction to people to come in and uh, have a choice uh, within short walking distance. Customers uh, come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, we take them as they come. Uh, sometimes uh, the uh, city gent type uh, is looking for a casual pan paperback and uh, the chap in the scruffy coat uh, is looking for something very exotic and unusual from maybe some centuries ago. I think when uh, Kindle first came out, um, I yes, did take a, a sort of negative attitude towards it. But uh, it, it's, it's a broadening of economies. Uh, it just means there's more choice. Um, and the physical book, um, in the last few years, I've seen it uh, going from uh, strength to strength, particularly the older book, uh, being appreciated more for the design elements that have gone into it. Uh, people who have been using uh, e-readers, Kindles, whatever, uh, for some time now, um, are realizing that the book in the hand uh, has values and qualities that you just can't do with electronica. So yes, I feel very uh, encouraged and uh, positive about uh, uh, the love of books and the market for those books in the future. Yeah. Reading is dreaming with eyes wide open.